Okay, we're almost at the last step of these direct kinematics, and in the last video, we figured out what is the location we wrote expressions for, what's the location of that point A. The last step is we need to know how long that length there is, and that distance we're going to call H. We can figure that out because if we remember these circles, they have a set radius and we can see that the value h there is just going to be the radius out there. If we assume this is a right angled triangle, we know this location here and we certainly know that distance there from our previous calculations. So we can pretty trivially use Pythagoras to figure out what is that length there. And once we know it, there's a tool, a mathematical tool called uh, ATAN, which will allow us to find the actual location of that tool. Um, doing that is reasonably simple, but let's go through it step by step just to make sure I'm being really, really clear on um, what we need to do. So going back to our previous diagram. So uh, for starters, I'm gonna get rid of our equations from before, uh, but we'll leave these points here. So now uh, I'm gonna change color a little bit uh, so that it's slightly easier to see. So what we really want is we know this is the distance r, that is a right angle triangle, and this here is the length h. And so pretty simply we can write an expression for h that depends on uh, the length of r and this length here. Now, part of that is in the assignment, but hopefully what you can see is that if we take half of that length um, and that there, we can add the square of those two short sides together, that will give us that. We can rearrange that equation and, and solve for h. Um, now, for this, uh, for, for this particular question in the assignment, you can use delta j to indicate the distance between joint one and joint two, and you can just calculate that um, earlier. So remember, that is not just the x difference and the y difference. It's gonna be this, uh, the square root of the sum of the squares between the two, because there's a couple of angles in there but you should be able to calculate what that is. And then the final step is uh, using this um, ATAN function, which will give you the specific location of this point up here, uh, which is the tool, the pen location. And then because it's a system of equations, you'll actually find there's another one down here as well. Uh, and that's it. That's really the entire mathematical complexity of this assignment. We are making some pretty strong assumptions. Um, and you'll see that in the performance of your arm, but it's amazing how far we can get from this using just simple trigonometry.